Welcome to Porter's four months update. Porter is grumpy, so I'm not sure how long we will be able to do this update, but I'm going to try my best. So yes, Porter is four months old. We're actually halfway through his four month old. I've been waiting to do this update until we went to the doctor's office so I got his updated stats for you guys. So we went yesterday. So this is the first chance I'm getting to sit down and tell you guys about Porter. So yes, we did go to the doctor yesterday. He is looking healthy, everything is fine. He is 16 pounds, two ounces. So he's getting heavy and I feel it when I am holding him, rocking him at night. He is 25, almost 26 inches tall and his head is 43 centimeters. His weight is like 55th percentile, his height is like 67th, 69th percentile and then his head is like 79th. Like he's got a huge head which is hilarious because Gray's head has always been super small. <laughs> so he has a really big head. Not sure if that's still because it's like misshapen or if it's because he just has a big head. Not sure. This is Porter constantly. This is what the whole last month has been. And I'm not sure if it's his teething or what, but he is just constantly sad. Constantly fussing. I have to hold him. If I'm not holding him, then he's sad. Um, he is still drooling like crazy. The pediatrician did say that his gums seem to be softening. So um, teeth are definitely coming have not felt any and she didn't feel any either which gray didn't get teeth until like seven months so i can't imagine they would be coming anytime soon but maybe i don't know but he's really been having a hard time with these teeth i did just get him some new teething toys to help him um the sophie the giraffe grayson really liked that when he was teething and then um i got the banana toothbrush um, again, Grayson really liked that as well, so hopefully those will help, but yeah, he's just been really sad. This whole month has just been really, really rough. Um, it's like back to month one when he was just constantly sad. I feel like he just wants to be held, and because I'm constantly holding him, I don't really get to see him or talk to him, and so I feel like, I don't know, I'm just like not as connected to him as I was with Grayson. He loves me and he smiles at me. It's very hard to get um, laughs out of him. Um, the person that can get the most laughs out of Porter is actually Grayson, <laughs> funny enough. And Gray doesn't even try. He just like bounces around or something and Porter thinks it's funny. Um, Anthony got laughs out of him yesterday and I hardly get laughs out of him. So he can laugh, he makes us work for it, I guess. Um, again, at the doctor's office, he was healthy. They did give him two shots, um, whooping cough and pneumonia. And then he also got um, the drink again, which last time he did puke it up all over the nurse. This time he did not. Um, he drank it. He didn't like it. She said it was sweet and that he shouldn't be doing that, but she gave it to him and he was like, uh, 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 <laughs> making a disgusted face. And so, um, but he did drink it, he didn't spit it up. He acts the same way. I give him vitamin D every day because my breast milk doesn't have vitamin D in it and he needs it for his bones. Sorry, this is just gonna be him. Um, and he makes that same face, even though I think it's supposed to be sweet as well. Um, I'm still breastfeeding 100%, although lately it seems like Gr Porter has been cluster feeding. I'm not sure if that's because he has teething pain or he's just growing and needs more milk. Um, but yeah, he's been eating a lot more. He gets very, very grumpy if I do not. Oh really? He gets very grumpy if my milk doesn't come in fast enough, which lately it's been taking a while. And he has started biting me when I nurse him. Yes, yes, you're biting me. And it doesn't hurt too bad because it is just his gums, but it still does hurt. So I've had to a couple times tell him like no bite. And he gets the biggest saddest face. He's like, <laughs> when I do that to him. But I don't want him to start doing that when he's got teeth. Ouch. That's not going to be fun. I might have to switch to bottles if that happens. Um, he constantly has his fingers in his mouth, chewing on his fingers. He does suck on his fingers. It's still these two, his pointer and his middle, that he seems to like to suck together. Yeah, he's very talkative today. He um, has recently found his feet and he will chew on, he hasn't really chewed on his feet, but he does like to bring his feet as close to his mouth as he can. <laughs> 
He's just gonna do this whole update. I don't even need to say anything. <laughs> so for sleeping, um, he's been doing okay. He is doing consistently two naps a day. Sometimes I can get a third out of him depending on his first two naps, but for the most part, it's just two naps a day. His first nap he'll do about 9, 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> and then his second nap will be around, I mean it could be anywhere from like 1, 1.30 all the way to like 2, 2.30. So it just kind of depends. Um, and then he'll sleep about two hours each time. It kind of depends. And then bedtime has shifted. So it used to be 9 o'clock. Then it was like more 8, 8.30. Now he's doing 7.30 is his bedtime. And his nighttime sleeping is all out of whack. Some nights he only wakes up once a night, sometimes he wakes up twice, sometimes he wakes up three times a night. It really just kind of depends. Lately it's been more of twice a night. He'll get up around midnight, 1 a.m. and then he'll get up again at around 5 a.m.-ish. So that's been his um, routine lately. He does seem to have some dry spots on his arm. Two, just two. Um, they just seem to be dry spots. I did show them to the pediatrician. She told me to just put lotion on them. So I have been doing that. Um, but other than that, um, he doesn't really have any issues. I just recently um, started doing bath time of Porter and Grayson together in the big bathtub. So I'll input a picture of that. I was worried of how that was going to do. I did a whole vlog on it, but actually they did really well and um, Porter liked it. He's been liking that, although he doesn't last nearly as long as Big Brother Grayson. Porter loves Grayson, loves watching him, um, thinks he's hilarious. <laughs> he loves talking, apparently. <laughs> he's talking away at this vlog. We started baby cereal. Um, as soon as he turned four months, I did start that. I just do one tablespoon. I just do one tablespoon of baby cereal and um, mix it with my breast milk. He hated it at first, and now he'll do okay. He will not eat the whole thing. Um, I always have leftovers, but he's getting there. Um, and it does seem to have helped at night. Before I started the baby cereal, he was waking up a lot throughout the night, and ever since that I started him on that, it's been more like once a night that he wakes up. So it's been a lot better. The um, baby gym is definitely still his favorite thing and he also loves the bouncer as well. Um, depending on his mood, depends on how long he'll stay in. Okay, sorry about that. I had to put Porter down for a nap because he was getting fussy as you could see. Um, anyway, not too much more to say, just that um, the baby cereal does seem to be helping Porter sleep better at night, sleep longer, although it does seem to back him up. He does not poop as often, um, and so maybe that's contributing to him being so fussy. I don't know, this is just a really hard month with Porter. It just, he's so fussy all the time, and usually in the past, it's just he wants to be held, and that used to be okay for him, and lately it's like holding him isn't even good enough and sometimes holding him and walking around isn't even good enough and then I'm kind of like I don't know what to do to make you happy <laughs> so um, it's just hard babies are hard but it's been really fun we had Porter's first Christmas his first New Year's um, it's officially not his birth year anymore. So we did experience a lot of fun things this past month. Um, hopefully this next month is a lot easier. Hopefully he grows out of this fussy stage. Um, he was in a leap, a developmental leap, leap four. And now he, supposedly he's in the happy phase of his leap. So I'm still waiting for that to manifest <laughs> because it hasn't really yet. One other thing is we did move Porter out of his bassinet. Um, he was just getting to the point where he is such a light sleeper that it felt like anytime Ify and I would make any movement in the room, whether it be coming in to get ready to go to bed or even just rolling around in the bed, like shifting from side to side, it would startle Porter and wake him up. And I was, he was waking up so often. I was just getting no sleep. And so I was just like, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just try it. And so um, we moved him 
into the crib. I kept the bassinet up just in case like it didn't work and it worked great. He did awesome. He's been taking naps in the crib for like the past month, so it's not like he wasn't used to it. He did great in there. Um, he still woke up a few times, but it just didn't feel like it was as often. And so from now on, he is in the crib full time. It was kind of crazy because it felt like a lot of things had changed at once. We moved him from the bassinet to the crib and then that night that we moved him, he rolled over for the first time from back to belly. And so we then had to stop swaddling his arms in and so that was a whole transition to get through, which wasn't as bad as Grayson, but it still was tough to get through. Um, and then he turned, and then he was like turning four months. It like all happened, happened within like a day. And so it was just kind of a whirlwind for me. And for me, it's hard for me to like get used to changes and things like that. So that was like a whole bunch of changes at once. We still put him in a sleep sack. We just don't swaddle his arms anymore. Um, and he seems to have transitioned fine to that. Um, so, and now, um, as we're well into the fourth month, it seems like he is starting to need some sleep training. Um, like I said, I'll nurse him, but then when I put him down, it's like he's still awake and he needs to learn how to put himself to sleep. So I have been letting him cry it out um, for a couple minutes and then I'll come back and soothe him and then put him back down. I just need him to try to figure out how to um, fall asleep himself. I did the same thing with Grayson and now Grayson is awesome in his room. So hopefully Porter will get the hang of it after a while. Stay tuned for the next, for the five month update because I will update you on how it's going. But I think that's gonna be it. I think this is kind of a longer video. Sorry about that. Just feel like there's a lot to say. Sorry I don't have Porter to close out this vlog with me, but he is sleeping, so I'm gonna go and clean or do some me time <laughs> while um, both boys are napping. So um, thank you again for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.